Dance Arts of Columbia provides fitness fun for everyone from three years old to adult. Dance Arts is a good environment where the friendly staff makes you feel comfortable. Dance Art feels that dance is an art form that you can experience firsthand by learning tap, jazz, modern, musical theater, lyrical, and ballet. Dance Arts urges you to enjoy a sense of accomplishment while getting fit and having fun. For class information, call 875-1569. Dance Arts of Columbia, serving Columbia since 1979. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, April the 25th. If you like quilts, you're going to like this segment because we've got a, a beautiful quilt to show you and tell you how you may be able to go home with it. I want to introduce you to Cecile Mason. Good to have you here. Thank Cecile. you. Cecile, you're with the uh, Heart of Missouri Quilt Show, right? Yes, sir. And this quilt show is going on when? April 30th and May 1st. And how many quilts will be on display? A hundred quilts. A hundred quilts? One hundred. There may be more. Maybe There's, more. Maybe more, but a hundred right now. Okay, maybe uh, maybe a hundred, hundred and fifty or more. Well, there's going to be a lot of quilts. We'll just let from, it go. From at that. beginners to artistic. Now you've got a quilt here that I want to show you because this is absolutely gorgeous. And how? I wanted you to describe it for people listening on the radio who can't see it on television. This is a red, white, and blue quilt with an eagle in the in the middle of it. Yeah. The f quilting was done by Christy Gay Gray. Katie did quilting, mm -hmm. and she did feathers, and she wrote "Freedom Isn't Free" mm -hmm. on here. There's all kinds of beautiful quilting on on the back of it. Just now, but somebody could go home with this quilt, right? Yes, they can. They make a donation. Tickets are a dollar a piece. Uh huh. Or six. Five dollars. Okay, so you make a donation of a dollar or uh, six for five. Or five dollars, and you get six tickets, and mm -hmm. you maybe they'll go home with that quilt. That's right. Now, any of the quilts that are on display there, are any of them going to be for sale, or are they only to look at? They're only to look at. We will have vendors. We have fifteen vendors coming in, um, made in Missouri products, mm -hmm. and they will have everything from outdoor lighting and quilt fabric and quilts and um and then if you have scissors yeah we're going to have a guy out there who will sharpen, sharpen the scissors? scissors as you go through the quilt oh, okay. show everybody everybody needs their scissors sharpened not only does he do scissors he does garden tools and He's sharpened, uh, uh lawnmower and knives blades? And knives, too? Yes, and, and that lawnmower What about blade. lawnmower blades? Yes, sir. So you mean to tell me you can come to your quilt show, you can take your lawnmower blades off, yes. bring them into the quilt show, and the guy's going to sharpen them for you? Yes, sir. What does he charge for that? I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. But the quilt show is going to be at the VFW Post 280 in Columbia, right? Yes, that is uh, down by the um, municipal uh Plant. Power, yeah. Power okay. plant. Yeah. Okay. Beh right behind there. Okay. And the dates are? April 30th, May 1st. From April 30th from 10 a.m.? 10, 10 to 5 and sun Sunday, May 1st from 10 to 4. From 10 to 4. Okay. So and Saturday. portions of this, the uh, proceeds. proceeds will go to assist local veterans. All right. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Appreciate you, and I, I hope you have a lot of people to come by there. Thank you. And you can get your lawnmower blade sharpened too while you're looking at quilts. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> now, I want to, uh, where are you going? Just sit right here because we've got some more to do. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> she's she got to take her quilt and leave. Yes. <laughs> Don't quilt. you want to hear what Maplewood Barn's going to talk about? Sure. We've got Maplewood Barn Theater with us. They're doing Macbeth. That's uh -huh. right. And uh, I want to introduce you to Dana Bucky. Good to have you here, Dana. <laughs> and Adam Brisky. That's right. Adam, you were on our Pepper and Friends show about 15, 16, 17 years ago, it's right? It's been a long time. I, I'm a former Rockbridge Bruin. So yeah. I used to come on Pepper and Friends when we would do the musicals there. Yeah, with Bob Bohan. That's right. Okay, we were talking about that. But tell me about the production. You're doing Macbeth, right? We are. That's we right. are. And what, what is your part, Dana? I am playing Lady Macbeth. You're Lady Macbeth. I'm Lady Macbeth. And who is Adam? I'm playing Macbeth. Okay. Oh, so we got the two leads That's right, right here. Yeah. You've got the power couple. <laughs> <Right. here. laughs> okay. Tell me about the production. 
Uh, it's going to be inside the barn because the weather is a little volatile at the end of April, beginning of May. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to go ahead and be inside the barn. So even if you have good weather that night, you're going to still do it We're inside gonna the barn. We're going to still do it That's inside. Right. So people need to make sure they get their tickets early because there is the possibility to, to get to capacity inside the barn. What is the capacity? Uh... It's about 60. Okay. It's about 60. We're outside. It's just it's however many people, however many people come. Can fit on a hill. Yeah. Uh, but inside, we do have a limit. So okay. people should make sure and get their tickets early. All right. So is there anything unusual about the Macbeth that you are doing? No. We're doing a really pretty it's... traditional uh, production. It's one of the shortest of... Shakespeare's plays. It's one of the most bloody. So if people love like Game of Thrones or or stuff like that, they're going to love this production. Yeah. So how are you doing the bloody scenes? Well, well, we've got we've got we've blood. got stage blood. <laughs> <laughs> you got what? Stage blood. Stage blood. That's right. Okay. Uh, no, it's not going to splash out on the. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not. It's, it's not, not that gory. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> Just want to make that clear because here we may have some people. Oh, I don't want to get any of that on. No, I've no. invited my mom to see it, so it should be relatively safe. Okay, yeah. is it? Uh, is that a difficult production to do, to learn, and to? You know, act in? any Shakespeare, there's a certain discipline that has to be applied to it because lines in Shakespeare are not just short sentences. You can't just say there, there's a bird over there. You have to say there's a bird with his beak of crooked blackness and his soul of darker blackness. <laughs> Everything is stretched out, but it's there's a love of language in his plays. Um, and if you're, if you're somebody that's well-read, if you're well-educated, you'll just have a great time at this show because there is a love of language in the cast and in the show as a whole. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't ask you this before, but can you give us a little 30 seconds? Oh, no, no, no. you no? got to come and see the show for oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can't All right. that away for free. <laughs> what I can tell you is that we're going to open in just uh, at uh, this Thursday, uh -huh. April 28th through May 1st. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And they won't give us, they won't wet our appetite. You've got to go. You've got to go. Uh, so it runs April the 28th. Through the first, through the through first, the first. And then the next weekend, the fifth through the eighth of May. Okay, that's so right. you're running two weekends. Yes, that's right. Are you on Sunday too? Yes. Yes. Is no matinees. Ma no, no matinee. No. Uh, box office opens at seven. Show starts at eight. Perfect. Okay, so all is, is it Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Sunday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Sunday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday right. and Sunday. All the shows are same time. Mm -hmm. That's right. Seven thirty. Eight o'clock. Okay. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Box office opens at seven. Okay. And we close on Mother's Day. So if you're looking for something to do with something your mom. Something really nice and um, heartwarming to do with your mom on Mother's Day. <laughs> with all the bring blood her to the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some moms are into that. <laughs> okay. All right. It's Macbeth. It's uh, running at the Maplewood Barn. Uh, go see it. Enjoy yourself, and you don't have to worry about being splattered up there. That's right. No. Okay. Thank you so much <laughs> Thank for coming you. by. Thanks for having us. Pleasure having both of you here, even though you wouldn't give us a little scene there. <laughs> I expect to see you there. Okay. You need to be there. Break a leg. Thank right? you very much. Uh, we're out of time for today. Tomorrow we've got MU Theater on, and we'll tell you about Kitchens in Bloom. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute, audio at Acres, KBIA. Our floor director is Ariel Sierra and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Anything you'd like to hear or see, I would love to hear from you. Just drop me an email. That's pepperp at missouri.edu.